How's it going, everybody? Uh, we're four days out from King of the Table 9. I figure I'd put out a quick little prediction video, uh, my thoughts on what I think may happen for the matches. Core Sports, if you don't have it already, make sure you get the app. Check it out. It's going to be a sick, sick fucking card that King of the Table is putting together for this one. Uh, first match, we've got Nisa Kamadan versus Sarah Collins. I don't know much about Nisa, but I think Sarah may have the upper edge on this one. I'm going to say 3-4-1 because we're all six rounds. 4-1 for Sarah uh, over Nisa. Um, and we're going to get into some interesting matches here. We got uh, Sergei Helishenko versus Arif Artem. Uh, Sergey, sick, sick fucking, sick top roll. All fucking top roll. Um, bad, bad dude. Uh, had a match with him. Ended up with my ass. Um, Arif, fuck, another sick, sick fucking top roller. This dude out of the gates is like a fucking rocket. Uh, even fucking Serhey, very, very tight, very fast out of the gates. It's going to be a tough one. I think that, whew, Arif, if he comes in shape, that dude is fucking on fire when he's on. Um, and Sergey, well, we've all seen what Sergey can do. And Sergey comes out of the gates hot as a motherfucker, tends to peter off pretty fucking quick. Arif, if he can get that momentum behind him, I think he's going to push through. But whew, it's going to be a tough one. I'm actually really, really interested in watching this one. I've actually wanted to pull Arif for a while. But uh, maybe sometime in the future, we'll see what we can do about it. But uh, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to, fuck. I'm, I'm really up in the air on this one. I don't know who's going to win. But I think, I think Sir Hayes is going to win this one in the early rounds. For the first two rounds, Sir Hayes is going to dominate. And then I think we're going to see Arif start to get a shit ton of momentum. And I think Arif may actually take this one 4-2 or 4-3 over Sir Hayes. So... 4-3 for Arif, I think, is what might actually happen. Sorry, Sergey. I'm cheering for you. I hope you win. But I think Arif may end up taking you this one. Um, Valera from Russia versus Lars Robakin, the Norwegian fucking champion. Just a machine this man is. Uh, I don't know a shit ton about Valera besides the fact that the dude is a fucking house man is massive as fucking as you could fucking ever imagine a human being can fucking be uh, a fucking monster looks like he was fucking blowing right the fuck up but uh, Lars has in my eyes I think a lot more experience than Valera I think uh, I think Lars has a lot more tools now compared to what he used to have. He used to be a one-dimensional flop wrist press kind of guy. Now it looks like he's doing a lot more. I didn't even really see him go much into that flop wrist press on his last match that he had against Matei. Um, I think Lars is going to come out and he's going to make another fucking statement. And I think Lars is going to take this one 4-1. So I say 4-1, Lars, king of the table nine, your fucking champion. Uh, the next one, we got a good show. This is going to be an interesting one. Had the opportunity to meet both of these dudes. Awesome, awesome fucking gentlemen. Uh, I believe this is a left-hand match. Then we're going to have Leonidas versus Larry fucking Wheels. I believe he's also one of the founders of King of the Table and Core Sports and everything involved with it. Um, but Leonidas, he is a bad motherfucker. Uh, super, super great guy. I think Larry has actually been training a lot more for arm wrestling. He's progressed a lot more. I don't know how much Leonidas has actually been training besides a little bit he was doing with Devin when he was around Ontario. We met up with him and shit, but he's not doing a shit ton of fucking training and concentrating on it. And I think Larry is doing a lot more. Uh, I think Larry has come a long way compared to when Larry first got into the sport. Larry was really struggling at the beginning. It seemed like he couldn't, his connective tissues weren't really firing the way they should, but seems like recently he's really starting to get a lot more comfortable everything's all starting to fall together all them stabilizer muscles and everything are all starting to work for him as opposed to against him so i think larry is actually going to dominate leonidas unfortunately sorry leonidas but i think larry is going to take this one four zero 
four zero. It doesn't matter about what happens in the fifth and the sixth round. We're just going four rounds and then whatever happens after that is whatever happens. But I think Larry's gonna come out and he's gonna make a statement, try to redeem all the other matches that he's lost. And we're gonna see Larry take this one four zero. So Larry Wheels, I got you picked for King of the Table Nine, motherfucker. So next one, super fucking stoked about this match. Uh, this match is a match I think a lot of people have wanted to see for a long, long fucking time. We've got Hermes Gasparini, the fucking gladiator, versus Vitaly Lalatin from Russia. Uh, this is a sick, sick fucking match. Both of these dudes are extreme fucking top rollers. I honestly think that Hermes is on a different level right now. Um, I think that his loss to Devin has hit him really close to home. I think he should have he feels he should have performed a lot better than he did and he should have done more with Devin. And I think that Hermes is one of the fastest up and coming, like he's making fucking statements everywhere he fucking goes when he's been competing the last couple of years. And I think he went in a little too cocky with Devin and Devin exploited the fuck out of every angle that he could on Hermes and took the match. But I honestly feel that Hermes may actually fucking He's going to beat Vitaly. He's going to beat him. I think he's going to beat him really good. Um, Vitaly, I don't know how much he's been training, how much he's been dedicating to the sport. I know Hermes has been putting 120% of his fucking soul and everything he has into arm wrestling. I think Hermes is coming out and he's going to make a fucking statement. And I think I'm going to say 4-1 Hermes over Vitaly. Um, I'm giving one to Vitaly because Vitaly's just a bad fucking dude and I can't see him not not putting everything into making sure he gets at least one win whether whatever way it fucking happens, he ain't gonna fucking let it go 4-0. So I'm gonna say 4-1, Ermi's Gasparini, king of the table nine fucking champion. Uh, last match, I believe it's gonna be the last match of the night. It should be the last match of the fucking night. Uh, Devin, my fucking older brother, Lorette, versus Georgie Sonev. Uh, Georgie, fucking what an awesome dude. I had the liberty to fucking actually meet the dude, hang out with him, chat with him a little bit. Had dinner with him one night when we were in fucking Turkey. And honestly, one of the most top-notch people I've ever fucking met in my life. Uh, I could sit down and have beers, shoot the shit with this motherfucker for hours on end. Uh, just a great, great soul, all in general. Uh, and one hell of a motherfucking top roller and one hell of a fucking arm wrestler um but i can't see him beating fucking Devin. um i think georgie may surprise him one round maybe maybe small fucking maybe might happen but i think Devin's gonna dominate him and it's gonna be we're gonna give one to georgie because i really really fucking love this fucking soul of georgie and we're gonna say 4-1, Devin over Georgie. Devin, your king of the fucking table champion. Uh, everywhere that man goes, he's fucking kicking ass and taking names right now. So looking forward to all the matches coming up. King of the table nine, check it the fuck out. December 9th, Core Sports app. If you don't already have it, get the fucking app. I'm gonna add the link down below. Check it out. We'll chat with you guys all soon.